Hello guys, good morning. Today is a running day. Today we I will run five kilometers in an uh, event. The name is Corrida de Pão de Açúcar here in São Paulo, in Ibirapuera Park. There's a lot of companies and the employee will run the competition. You see, maybe I can run 10 kilometers. I don't know. But five, I'm guaranteed. <laughs> five what? I'm start running now. Check my heartbeat. So five kilometers. I can do. Okay, guys. I finished my lap now, and my partner start your run now. So look at the beautiful view. It's uh, Ibirapuera Park. We have a beautiful lake. Over there we have the city. Yeah, it's a beautiful Sunday. And now I drink some water. Bye bye. Right now I'm here in Nokia Point with my friend Michael. Hi Michael, how are you? Hello, I'm fine and you. How many did you, how many kilometers did you run? 10k my friend. 10k. And you find I'm fine, yeah, a bit, bit hot, but everything fine, it's fun. I mean, being with friends... It's too much for me. Uh, no, 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 I'm done. Uh, <laughs> Only five. <laughs> but you can do it. No, it's, it's, all, it's all in here. You just have to want to do it. One day, maybe, yeah, I can run. for sure, for sure. You started, that's, that's something, so you're gonna get it. Okay, Michael. Yeah, that's fun. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Okay, here we are in Uber now. <laughs> it's a good option to move in the city. It's a low-cost option. Because here in Brazil, the maintenance of your car and parking your car is very expensive. So, if you take a Uber, it's a low cost and good option. So, right now, we go to, to my, my house, and maybe in 10 minutes, I'm there. Okay. Bye bye. Okay, I'm home now. Right now is a 4 p.m. hour and today is a good day. I'm a little tired because, you know, I run 5 kilometers today, but it's a good day. Look at my view here in Sao Paulo. I'm living here. My son in swimming pool over there. I have a beautiful sunset, but not now, later. And this is my job stuff. I was in home office. Well, I'm a telecommunication engineer, but in Nokia I work like a security coordinator. I'm responsible for the electronic device in all offices Konisu Nokia, uh, access control, CCTV, and the security guards in Argentina, Chile, and here in Brazil. All offices Nokia, I'm responsible. But, uh, well, today, right now, I'm only watching a little, little bit of TV, and I take a shower now, and it's enough. Today is a good day. Okay, bye bye, see you soon. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Well, as you can see, I cut my hair. It's because today is two weeks after the last video. So, first of all, my idea was upload a video weekly, but unfortunately I don't have a time. So, I can film only in the Sunday. Today is another Sunday in the northern park too. Here's a Villa Lobo Park. 
a lot of people running for everywhere, families, and look at overview. Well, let's, wa let's run a little more. Bye bye. Quando eu for eu vou sem pena, pena vai ter quem ficar Quando eu for eu vou sem pena, pena vai ter quem ficar Morena tão desamada e tão precisada de amar A sucena delicada sem a mão pra lhe cuidar Curva de rio sereno, sem proa pra navegar e tanta beira de estrada, sem um moço pra pousar O que eu fiz é muito pouco, mas é meu e vai comigo Deixo muito inimigo, porque... Ei, hey, Dimitri! What? What do you think about this Sunday? Yeah, a beautiful Sunday. Yeah, great! Turn around! <laughs> Amazing! After you run, you can use this to refresh. It's a good idea. It's only to take a shower, not to drink. Hello everyone, today I'm here in Futuricon, it's a telecommunication event here in São Paulo. So today is a Sunday, it's a previous day, uh, it's not the, today is not the start day for the visitors, but only to the employee of the companies to finish the installation of the stand, configuration the, the device, and yeah, this is all. Look, we have the hallway, and not a lot of companies, expect more. It's not catch that. Hello everyone, how are you doing? Good afternoon. Today I'm here in Futuricom with the metros. The metros work in mobile network CTO, is a Nokia division. So today he show us a great solution uh, with a cooperative called robots. You can see the difference between 4G and 5G technology. So the, the metros right now show us the solution. Hello everybody, thank you for joining this video. Now what you have here is on the right a couple of robots 
two arms, one camera, one ball, one green ball, and the robots have the mission to put the ball back in the middle, no matter what happens to the ball. For example, if I bump a little bit, I move the ball, the robots try to balance the ball back in the middle. And uh, why we have these robots here is to show how latency is impacting on the end result of automation. So in this case, we have the robots still bouncing, trying to balance the ball. Why? Because they are set to a normal LP latency, which is nearly 90 milliseconds of delay. So in this case, you can see on the screen, the bouncing, the arms are still bouncing. And here you have a latency, which is nearly 100 milliseconds, exactly 90 milliseconds of delay. So what's happening here with the latency is that the camera noticed that the ball has moved informs this to the computer, the computer orders the robots to start balancing the rail in order to put back the ball. What happens is that the information comes too late and when the ball is in a different position than it was when the camera noticed the movement. And you saw that the robots com completed already the task, they already balanced the ball, but they took nearly 10 movements in order to put the ball back. Now let's see how it feels when you reduce the latency to what uh, 5G is promising, which is something less than one millisecond of delay. So we are reducing the latency by 90 times shorter time in the reaction of the movements of the robots. And you will see how long it takes to the robots to put the ball back in the middle. latency was at 90 milliseconds now it dropped to 3 milliseconds the robots are not balancing so now let's see how the balance is going to be shown on the screen and also what happens to the ball when I bump it again in three movements four movements they manage to put the ball back let's do it again two movements and the ball is back and here you see the balance what the arm did in order to put the ball back just two movements and, and it got it so what does it mean is that the robots got more productive when the latency dropped by 90 times from 90 milliseconds down to 3 milliseconds and that's the end result of the show thank you very much amazing so Demetrius thank you so much for your time guys you can see it. 5G technology is not a, a upgrade technology, it's a revolutionary technology. It's another thing completely different. Much more better, much better. And amazing, amazing. The metros, great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank bye you. bye. Okay, this is the end of the presentation from Nokia here in Picture Con. As you can see the our standing is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let me show you some technologies we show you in this Futuricom presentation. We show the video IP, hyperscale data center, SDN Nuage, LTE and license, the 5G robots. A mobile edge computing, Internet of Things, NBIOT, and some We Things products. So, was the a very good presentation here? Nokia again show us your capacity in telecommunications service. So, very good. Bye bye. Finally, it's ready, and now I drive to change my exhaust. And I think I have a little issue with my exhaust. And now I'm, I'm gonna install a sport exhaust. We'll see. Uh, maybe, maybe can be good. Well, we'll see. Well, guys, if you see, I don't speak English very well, but I try uh, explain for you. What is living in Brazil? 
the cost of the country and uh, the other issues here so I'm trying I'm trying to speak okay <laughs> I don't speak very well but I try okay guys now it's time to change the exhaust so the technician removed the, the exhaust you see it now no have it original exhaust anymore and I think I will install this piece we'll see the noise okay cars we have here uh, maybe in another country like uh, USA or Europe is a simple car but here in Brazil it's a very good car so look this Chrysler 300C all black this is a sedan amazing completely black the glass the wells all the car is black and here we have a state wagon model with wells, uh, chromed wells and red interior. Amazing. Hey guys, my car finally is ready. And now I'm here in Scopino Technician Company. And I'm showing you some cars we have in here. So we have this Honda and a Jaguar and look at this guys is a Mazda MX-5 here in Brazil this is a very very hair car don't have a lot of cars of this here and Scopino is a, a specialized company in different mechanics car we have a Audi K5 this is the engineer of this car and look at this Volvo amazing it's an old Volvo but it's an amazing car I love Volvo in the past I have one it's a good car so just look at the view of the, the company we have here a Zafira and a Ford Fiesta in the Renault Scenic and we have here a Mercedes Class A no, no, tranquilo and we have here a Peugeot 206 a BMW it's an amazing car, oh yeah it's a good car my favorite is this Ford Edge for me, this is the best I love this car and here we have my Pug a Peugeot 206 the Renault is the mechanic technician right now fix it a little issue with, with the air conditioner and I change a lot of pieces of this engineer and right now I think the car will become will be very good Okay, that's made that test drive before. Bye bye.